Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi. Tomorrow is such a big day on Broadway that Tony nominations are coming out. Yeah. Okay. So what time is everyone getting up? I'm at, I'll be up at five. Every year, Broadway gets up early to find out who got nominated for the Tony Awards. Broadway.com has been called the number one source of Broadway news, so obviously this is a big morning for us. Thank you. The Tonys are my Super Bowl, and you folks are getting me psyched for tomorrow. The Diamond Horseshoe is like the, the name of the, the room underneath the Paramount Hotel where they announce the Tony nominees. So I get up super early. It's always a rush. It's always It always feels like it's raining out. It's always humid, I don't know, it's just, it's always a mess. And, and there's a lot of waiting. You get there like an hour before, it takes forever to check in. Hi, Paul Wontor, Broadway.com. It used to be really hard to find out who was getting nominated for a Tony. I was actually thinking about this. When I was a kid, there was literally no way to watch this event on TV. You would see like pieces of it on local news. Maybe they would show like a little bit of it, but it was, it was never really a complete thing and you would kind of have to scramble to figure out who got nominated, or maybe on the radio you would find out, or you'd read it in the paper the next day to actually see the entire list. Ah, Tony nominations morning. It was busy, it's stressful, we're all together, we're all trying to say the same thing at the same time. Today was particularly stressful because we had some problems with the feed, and we're also getting it from multiple sources now. It's on the TV, it's on the live stream, there's like Facebook Live. It used to be that it was just like the TV, and then you get a release, and then it was over. And now there's just like so much information, Twitter. The nominations morning is actually a lot harder to deal with than the Tony Awards itself. With the Tony Awards, you already know. Um, you've already got down to five people, you have three hours. This is like in seven or eight minutes. So it's much, much tougher on the news team. Um, but they did well today. The nominees for best performance by an actor in a leading role in a play are Gabriel Byrne, Long Day's Journey in Tonight, Jeff Daniels, Blackbird, Frank Langella, The Father, Tim Pickett Smith, King Charles III, Mark Strong, Arthur Miller's A View from the Bridge. I had a bit of a, a personal element there, um, so this year my, my dad was up, um, his show School of Rock um, was playing on Broadway, so my dad was in the mix and he's um, had a lot of flops in fairly recent times and then he got very sick in the past few years and if he'd have told his family that, you know, three years ago that he'd be alive, he'd be doing a show on Broadway and that not only that, but the show could be up for a Tony nomination. Um, that would be amazing. Um, and, and he did, School of Rock did get a Tony nomination. Of course, I didn't know as quickly as I normally would have done because the feed went down. So I'm sort of sitting there in the middle of the story, slightly stressing out, wondering if he had his nomination. But he did, um, and he also got one for best score. So sort of just thrilled for him. Yeah. And, and everybody, Nikki and I were just saying how um, we were not expecting it, but we both got a little like choked up as we were reading. Because it's, you know, you, you think about we both were, you know, have been in the position yeah. of like waiting to hear right. if you will be or whatever, yeah. and also like watching these awards since I was a kid. And it's, it's, it's a really, it was very exciting to get to be a, a, a tiny part of today. Would you feel really powerful this morning, like getting to like break and make careers? Well, there's like a point where you just think, like, what if I just say my own name? <laughs> like, I best choreography, Nikki M. James for I mean, who knows? Would they, you know, be like um, Steve Harvey, just say whatever you want to say. And then after all of that and we're in the same room, I'm trying to write a script, which I usually do in the quiet of my office, trying to figure out what I'm gonna say. It's not you know, it's like one thing to like get all the information in there, but also write enough that people will want to watch it. You know, you don't want to just give people numbers and facts. They have to be a little bit of a personality to it. Lin-Manuel Miranda's smash hit about the $10 founding father broke the record of 15 previously held by the producers and Billy Elliot. In addition to Best Musical, the show received nods in every category it was eligible in and multiple nominations for the leading and featured actors. Today it's Julie James on Sirius XM on Broadway in for Christine Petty and I'm talking Tonys with Paul Wontorek from Broadway.com. I was so excited for The Color Purple this season because I really fell in love with the original production. Oh. Actually I saw LaShawns last night oh. dropping a name, the lovely LaShawns <laughs> who won a Tony for The Color Purple and it looks like this year Seeley might be winning a Tony again. 
So the big news of the day is up, and everyone now knows who got nominated and who didn't. But this is just a start for everyone at Broadway.com. We, we, we have a lot of events to cover, a lot of nominees to interview, and it's, it's going to be a long five weeks between now and Tony night.